Hey guys, it is Chad with a Climbing Kid, and today we're going to be looking at um, some hug climbing moves from the World's Cup, or the Boulder World Cup in May, I don't know, I didn't have no clue how to say that, in uh, 2018. Uh, these are the men's finals. So this right here, this is, I just, I just want to see this, oh wait, whoops, wrong thing. Um... This is, a, this is a basically what all um, competition routes will look like. Competition routes are, it's basically the route setters design it to make it super hard to obtain counter pressure, which is what's going to keep you on the wall and get you to the next move and up to the finish. So they make it super hard to obtain counter pressure while, and combine that with gravity. So it's gravity and counter pressure fighting against you. Well, you need to get the counter pressure, but gravity's fighting against you, and it's all about getting that counter pressure, especially on these kind of overhang. Um, with slab, it's going to be a lot more gravity based, and high, slab being um, walls that are slanted at more than a 90 degree angle. Um, uh, overhang being, and you would be climbing it from the right side, if that makes sense. So if you have like the common circle like angle thing you have the circle on the right side is the zero degree up in the top middle is 90 degree left side would be 180 bottom would be 270 degrees and let's say your climb is going from the zero degree this is from the right side the slab would be if the wall if you if you want to put a rock on the very top of a slab wall it would slide down to either the left or right side depending on where it's facing um if you put a, you can't really put a, well, on the, if you put, sorry, let me rephrase that. If you put a rock on the uh, side where there's holds on slab, it'll, it'll fall down. So that'd be the side you're climbing. So I don't really know how to explain it. It's basically where if, if you were to fall, you would dra you would slide against the wall if you didn't have a rope. Um, and, but if you overhang is if you would fall, it would just be straight down because the wall is going over to the side. So you just fall and while the wall kind of goes back. So you're climbing overhang, it's a lot more on your own because you there's no there's barely any weight on your feet except for when you're going to the next hold. And occasionally you rest. It's side too that I was explaining. Vertical being well perfectly straight up and down. So we see this first kind of bit of counter pressure here between these two arms and his foot that's whoops that's gonna keep him on the wall foot out to the side to get a nice just extra little touch really what he's trying to do is he's trying to get his foot onto the wall and just on this this kind of like texture on the wall is enough to keep this foot on the wall easily because if this foot goes out that's gonna open his hips up and that's gonna um make sh make it so this hold right here is gonna be actually going um, he's actually going to be pulling outward, meaning it's going to slide straight off. Therefore, that hand has no counter pressure, no, doesn't have anything to counter, so that's going to come off, and the foot's going to come off as he falls down. So just this one little detail, putting his foot on, is keeping him from falling off. Just putting it to the side, not even on hold, not using it for his weight. See, counter pressure between this hand, this foot, and that foot. This should be an example of the gravity fighting against you. He has a really bad hold. Two really bad holds. Not a lot of footholds. Well, actually, he has this to the side. But right now, he doesn't have any feet on the wall. And then, so gravity's pushing down on him. And he doesn't, he's not pushing back at all. Or that's designed to do that. Now, watch as he gets his foot on, feet on. To, um, uh, get this counter pressure between his arms and his foot. To counteract the gravity. Which is, that's, that's entirely how, how it works. How I'm climbing climbing how competition routes work counter pressure between these two hands weight on other feet so there's something i like to use in climbing called um there's two main rules i have when i climb first one being um i call it weight and balance it's the amount of distribution you put your balance on and then your weight on on holds um so right here all of his weight is on his feet i can assure you all of the weight is in his feet while the counter pressure between his hands is just keeping him into the wall because if you see these holds are really bad he needs to stay into the wall in order for his uh feet not to slide off but his hands up here they're keeping the counter pressure so well i just said that 
And it's so they're keeping the counter pressure so he can keep his feet on and fight against gravity. Gravity's pushing him down, his feet need to push back up. In order to do that, he needs to get into the ball, which he needs to use his hands for a climb. That's why I love climbing. It's just a combination of everything. Every it's like a giant circle of life. It just everything moves with each other. It's like a bunch of gears. Once again, a full clip. These are our side pulls. Um Meaning you grab from the side, very crimpy side folds, meaning you crimp them as in putting four fingers on it, and that would be a dino. Don't like those lights, that would distract me a lot. As you can see, the momentum bring his feet out. Very excited, that was a hard route. That was a really hard route. Next guy. Let's see if we can see a different route. Similar beta. Uh... Problem number two. Okay. So this wall is another, is another, see this is, this is overhang right here. Let's look from that angle again. See how the wall comes, it, it comes out from the ground. So he's kind of hanging down rather than the wall supporting his weight. Almost, I'd say about 80% of um, competition routes, um, or like these, you know, World Cup, um, those comp like really, really high grade competition. By high grade, I mean like, you know, really late in the um, competition, I guess. Um, kind of like the, I don't know, like the bet the, the very like top climbing competitions, like the ones that are all climbing competitions basically that are um, where people. It's kind of like a big kind of like system where they all go up. Like, the very kind of last, you know, eight people or so when they climb, it's, and maybe, like, down to the last 20 to 50 sometimes, it will be all overhang, just because it's way, it's, um, it, it really just brings us another factor of putting, of arm strength in, really brings in a lot of arm strength, and also to keep that challenge of getting your feet on to keep you in. This is probably one of the most impressive things from people on the outside of, of climbing, I guess, how I could say it. Um, this is just like a superhuman move. So, he gets his legs back, and this is how most dinos would look. Most of the time, if he had a foot around here, he would definitely put it there. I mean, maybe he would have this foot out, because he needs this weight. Right now, this foot is not helping him. It's all the power is coming from this back foot. But as... I'm going to put this in slow motion. Watch. As, as he reaches out, he's just launches off of these two hands on that foot. You can see this foot. You can see it's it's being in this crease that says it's being like engaged. That's how I like to call it. And it's um, it's all of his weight is on this foot right now. Um, obviously some of it is just kind of like floating because you know all of it, he just launched off of this, so he's not. Technically, only like 50% of his weight because, you know, he's in the air. He just jumped. Um, but he's extending his arm to get the side pull. And as you can see, as soon as he just got like a few fingertips on that side pull, his foot, boom. This is gonna, this is kind of like the second. You know when like spaceships like take off, they have kind of like the main engine and then that breaks off. And then they have those like second engines that kind of kick in. That's what this is. He's just just took off. This is the main engine. Oh, these two would be the main engine, the hand of the foot. And then the second engine, once these are no longer useful, bye. Um and this one is now with the second engine engage engage or second engine engages um to give him that strength. Because this right here, that's not gonna get him anywhere. So pushing off of this foot's gonna allow him to bring this right hand over, then his left hand, and then his Hands matched over there. Boom, watch that. See, so look, you can see him swing back. And I just want to watch that. Watch. Play close to, play very close, pay very close attention to this foot right here. See how long he keeps it on there? Because he's really, he's going from a position of not, like right here is probably when it starts using the weight, honestly. He's, going, he's using this entire time because he needs to get from where he is now to over there. That's a long, long distance. 
So he's going to be pushing off of this left foot so ridiculously hard. Boom. All that entire time, you can see the foot bend down because of the amount of pressure on it. Boom. See that little thing? And then it goes up. And then the momentum carries him through as he shuffles his hands to the holds and matches on this final hold. And then, yeah, he continues with it with a high foot. Switching. Heel hook. Um... Putting his hands up. This is called a mantle. He's getting his hand from a pulling to a pushing position. Um, hand up. Oh, I should probably put it in regular speed. Um, so now he's going to go out. Once again, this counter pressure. Whoops. That's a horrible camera angle. His counter pressure between. Um, he's actually using gravity on his side. Um, this is like. Probably one. One in every route, one time you can do this in every route because normally, if gravity didn't exist, if gravity didn't exist or you know doesn't function as it does, then it he'll just bound door right. Bound door is when um you kind of pivot on one or two points or two points and you just go from this position position and he'll just swing open and his chest will be facing the audience because he's just going to rotate on these these hands of his foot. But because of gravity and gravity exists and he also has this hand, um. Gravity is actually pushing him down, which is allowing him to bend his knees to keep counter pressure between light. Like, I guess it would be also gravity. All so, gravity's helping and hurting here because gravity's causing him to swing out, but it's also saving him from swinging out. So, if he were to strain these legs, boom, out. But because he's bending them, he's allowing gravity to push him downwards rather than to the side. And that's going to allow him to have to distribute the force between gravity up here and his legs. Which, if you think about it, that's how it works when we walk. We have counter pressure between our legs and gravity. Because that's, that's all what climbing is. It's counter pressure. And then foot out, just to get that extra... This is the same reason that we talked about earlier, just to keep his foot from getting off. And that would peel him open and fall. Just crimping it. That's a... W wait, let's watch that crimp. Look, let's see here, he's full crimping it, so he's putting all of four of his fingers on and wrapping his thumb over to get maximum strength out of that thing. This is this crimp is what we, what you would normally call a sucker. Um, uh, yeah, just kind of small hole to be like that, that little blue, those two blue suckers to the, to the giant moon or whatever you would call that. Sloper. Okay, he's putting his foot down. This is... L locking he's locking his foot in i would not be surprised if this foot goes out in fact it it will i will guarantee you it will um to lock it in as he leans into these holds watch this foot go out she's grabbing on them i actually not might in this in this um situation because he's going to there on really bad holds but is he if these were lower and this hold was out to the side he would def 100 percent bring that foot out so he's just trying to lock off on those hands so he can push off of his feet and then bring the jump up. Obviously he has to keep his hands up match for a couple seconds before the judges give him the okay and he jumps off. <sighs> Anyways guys, that'll do it for today's video. If you like the video, please like it. It'll help this video get more views. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the series and have liked my other videos, please consider subscribing. You can always unsubscribe. Thank you.